Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys had a fabulous start to your week. We've had nice weather, not only for last week, but now this week as well. It's making the perfect transition back to school. It's making everything that much easier, but it's not gonna last, I'll, I'll be honest. We'll head through this weekend, and then you're probably gonna be sweating trying to you know, take the kids out of the car in the mornings. We're gonna get back to it. If you like the summer weather, get ready for it. It's coming back. Here's what's going on across the atmosphere. We have high pressure. This is called an omega high. Giant area of higher pressure, and it's parked right over the desert southwest. That can only mean one thing. It's going to heat everything up, push that heat all the way up into Minneapolis. And where are we tapping into right now? Well, we're tapping into that northwesterly wind. So we're pulling down that air, and it's going to ultimately get warmed up by the time we tap back into it again. So what does that mean for our weekend? Well, it means we're going to be hanging out in the upper 80s. It's nothing that we haven't dealt with, but it is going to start to get hot after dealing with fabulous weather for two weeks. I mean, we've been hanging out in the 70s, and then we're starting to get used to it. Let's be honest. We're getting a little bit comfortable out there, complacent. So moving into this weekend, Sunday, we're going to feel that humidity spiking back up. The wind switches to the south on Saturday, so don't worry about it for this football Friday. It's going to be a little bit chilly, actually, for that overnight low, so maybe just grab that blanket and throw it on the bleachers. You're going to be needing it on the bleachers. But other than that, it, it's a great chance just to rock a sweatshirt jacket. It's not going to be anything crazy breezy or anything like that, but dry. It's going to be really dry out there. I know everyone wants to have that last bonfire of the summer, me included. Maybe let's pump the brakes. It's a little bit too dry out there. 56 degrees as we kickstart your morning. We're going to head into the upper 70s by this afternoon and evening, keeping that northerly wind around. So it is going to start to gradually calm back down. We've had a nice breezy setup over the next or the past few days. Not the case today. We're, we're becoming light and variable. We're still in the upper levels of the atmosphere, dragging that northerly wind down. But by the time it funnels here to the surface, it's three to six miles per hour. We're really not feeling it. Here's what's going on. High pressure is directly over top of us. So think of as a, a big bubble, a big air bubble right here parked over top of us. And now we're right in the center of it. So you can start to understand why it's not as breezy today as it has been over the past few days where it was starting to move into our region. Here's what I'm talking about. Eventually that northerly wind picks back up thanks to sunshine just mixing our molecules up. But that's going to bring some cloud coverage from the lakes. That warm body of water seeing that cool air rush over top. Quick cloud coverage and then it dissipates. That's basically how we wrap up your Thursday and Friday. Saturday, the wind switched back to the south, and then we heat back up into the upper 80s by Sunday. That's when we start to have a little bit more difficulty breathing just because the, the air is a little bit thicker. But Monday through Wednesday, kickstarting that next school week, it is going to be rather hot in the mornings and humid.